You know, some good. Actually, you know, a lot of good, but then there's some things we got to clean up. You know, I was, I was pleased with, uh, we found some big plays. We were able to find some explosive plays um, all across the board at all positions. Um, still too many procedural things that we got to clean up. Uh, a couple situations in the red zone, we didn't manage the right way. Uh, we finished one two-minute scenario pretty good, and then the other two-minute scenario, we didn't finish the way we needed to do. So there's a lot of positive, but then there's also a lot for us to coach uh, every position. Did Travis do a little bit better on his pass protection today? No, I have to, I have to look because I'm caught up in calling plays, but I, I don't remember any of the backs specifically giving up um, a sack, which is an area that we got to re really improve from last season. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some technical, uh, technical issues. Uh, in, far, in terms of Travis, it was good to see Travis show up from an explosive standpoint he made some runs uh, and he looked like Travis and that's been a big challenge with him is just gonna be consistent can he do it every single day and then can he improve in the area of pass protection the way he needs to improve uh, so I was pleased with uh, with his day today. How about the quarterbacks how did they look? I mean, they all look good I mean all of them had an opportunity to lead uh, touchdown drives um, you know it's hard for me to tell who's throwing what who's doing what because I'm on the next play trying to figure out when Brent's gonna bring that safety blitz but man we got four guys that are you know competing their butts off all of them are good enough for us to, uh, to win a lot of games with and I'm excited just to get on the film and, and, and really break it down. The other day um, Jeff was saying that Trevor was he shows a lot of uh, patience and, and kind of absorb mm -hmm. things really good do you see the same thing when you do watch him? Yeah no question and that's probably the thing that uh, with him is just his his calm demeanor you know I think the way that y'all see him every single day that's the same way he is in the pocket and he's got just a natural pocket presence that's that you just can't coach and, and, and the special ones they uh, they have that and you know today was an opportunity and I told him I kind of kidded with him I said now it's for real we're in the stadium we're on the grass coaches are off the field you know you're on your own and he just kind of said I'm ready coach and I mean I'm anxious to get in there and see because I know there were some situations with all the quarterbacks, not just Trevor, but with all of them that uh, that they probably wish they had a play or two back, and that's going to be the fun part is getting in and challenging those guys and see how they respond. Did, did, Hunter, did Hunter get a go today? Hunter Johnson. Hunter Johnson. Oh, yeah. All four of them went, yep. Were you pleased with the tempo today, and um, how, how noticeably different is it when Trevor's in there? You know, from a tempo standpoint, you know, from a tempo standpoint, he's still trying to, to learn to drive, and that's one thing that we really challenge all of, all of the quarterbacks is quarterback drive the tempo. So as soon as the play, the whistle is blown, you're already with your eyes to the side, and you're hurting the cattle, you know, in the direction to get back on the ball. Tempo wasn't where it needed to be in between plays. You know, I think that we did a good job of finding some opportunities to have some of our tempo plays going, but in between plays, uh, just the last two practices is not what it's been prior to uh, prior to leaving. And again, the guy's been off for a week, and you know, that's an opportunity for us to coach but from a tempo standpoint we had 91 plays you know we did some good things from a tempo standpoint but just in between plays that's an area where we're going to coach these guys hard. At first glance did you see improvement from the first scrimmage to the second scrimmage? You know I did I did we were able to, to like I said find some explosive plays you know down the field and we were able to sustain some sustain, sustain some drives um, we did a little bit better in short yardage uh, we had a little goal line uh, goal line scenario where you know I thought we did good with, uh, with both groups so definitely some improvement but still just too many you know small things you know and a lot of it is experience too. You know, you got some new guys in new spots that, that aren't used to, to the tempo, the intensity when you get to a scrimmage, and it's going to be a great film to coach off of. What are the biggest differences that you can already start to see comparing last year and this year? You know, the biggest differences? Yes. You know, it's, it's still hard to tell, but, but I think the guys are taking ownership of the areas where we want to improve. we got to continue to get better in short yardage. You know, red zone is an emphasis, and I think tempo. So I think overall, you know, everybody's bought into the tempo, but it's just a, a function of every single day there's got to be a certain mentality and mindset to actually execute the tempo. So I like the, I like the direction we're going in from a tempo standpoint, and I also like just the, just the chemistry, you know, of this offensive unit right now. Mm -hmm. Would any of the receivers stand out today? You know, Cornell Powell, you know, showed up today and made a couple plays. Made a big play um, down the field. Uh, also made a, uh, a big play on a third down off of a conversion, you know, that extended a drive. You know, I thought T showed up, you know, down the field. Uh, he finished a two-minute drive uh, the way we wanted to with a big play uh, to finish up there. Um, those were the two that, that really stood out. And, and, and today was more about evaluation and not necessarily trying to, trying to win the scrimmage, but putting some guys in some tough situations. And, man, we really, really challenged those boundary receivers, you know, and, and Travion and, and uh, and DeAndre and, and also T, you know, with the, just on some of those those intermediate passing game concepts because we got, I feel like we got two of the best corners in the country that are really, really challenging these guys. And so that was an area where those guys are going to see the tape and see that they got an opportunity to improve. Obviously no fans today, but how beneficial is it to get the freshmen like Jason Carmen in this environment? Oh, no, that's, that's critical. You know, that's that's why we do it because, you know, it's one thing when it's practice and it's controlled and coaches are on the field. But now when you get out in the valley and there is a little bit of, of, of distraction, there is there is a, uh, coaches on the sideline, nobody out there to help you. I mean, it's critical when you can get those young guys acclimated to our environment. And then the spring game will be another opportunity when the fans are there. And so the first time that they don't walk out is a situation that might be pretty intimidating with the spring uh, spring, spring game crowd. 
Speaking of spring game, what is the biggest focus that you you tell your guys to stay? Compete. You know, we got to compete because the teams are going to be mixed up, and coach and coach has a lot of fun with that. And you know, guys may not be playing next to the same guy that they were all uh, all uh, all spring. And now you got you know some new dynamics, and so just go out there and compete, and let's make sure that we don't use those as excuses to distract us from executing on the level we need to. Jackson still a tackle or well, I saw Jackson. I saw Jackson in the guard, you know, okay. a little bit today, and, and Caldwell is, is working that, and that's tough on offensive linemen too, especially man when you're going from tackle to guard. You know, it's a different stance. I mean, it's, it's a totally different world. But uh, I tell you what, I've been I've been impressed with him too, with his ability to absorb and just his his uh, his demeanor. You know, he comes to work every day. You don't hear anything out of him, and then you see flashes of his uh, of his potential. Did you make it out healthy today? As far as I know, you know, as far as I, know, I don't remember anybody uh, anybody going down uh, significant. I'm sure we're gonna have some bumps and bumps and bruises, and we'll find out, you know, after those guys get into the uh, to training room at night and then tomorrow. People talked about Trevor and, and Hunter, but how did KB and, and Chase look? You know, like I said, K all four of them are doing great. K Kelly just continues to, to be Kelly, you know, and you can tell that he's the he's the most veteran guy. You know, he does the little things, you know, that some of the young guys are, are trying to learn how to do, and and that, that's just what what keeps him in the position that he's in, and, and it's making those other guys better too. And so you know. And then you know the component that's that's really good for him is he can't use his legs in the scrimmage because they're not live, and so now he has to really go work on the things of commanding the offense and, and driving the tempo, and and then uh, then Chase, you know Chase gets in there, man, and he's got that moxie to him, and he's got that he's just got that it factor, you know. Now there's going to be some opportunities where he's he's trying to do too much, you know, and, and that's where you always got to got to err on the side of of bringing those guys along at the right speed and not giving them too much because then now they're thinking too much and and, and getting themselves into tougher situations than they need to be in.